You can't see her. She can dive to over 250 meters and stay down for six months. You can't hear her. She can run for 20 years without refueling. She is the most lethal weapon ever designed. Man, battle station's missile. An apocalypse machine capable of devastating entire continents. The USS Pennsylvania is an Ohio-class submarine, the biggest submarine in the US Navy. Helm right 15 degrees rudder, steady course 320. Captain Bradford S. Neff is taking the USS Pennsylvania and its crew of 165 men on a patrol. His submariners are a unique breed. Sailors on my ship have to be able to deal with being inside for an entire patrol, which is normally about 72 days or so. During this time, the Pennsylvania will silently glide through the depths of the Pacific Ocean. Invisible to her enemies, she is primed to unleash her awesome apocalypse in an instant. Come, sir, last man down, hatch secure. Second car off the deck, submerge ship to 160 feet. Die, die. All bits open. Five, six. Once her hatch is closed to dive, her crew are sealed inside the submarine for the duration of their mission. Each crewman needs 12 cubic meters of air every day just to stay alive. More if they're working hard. Even in a vessel as roomy as this, the Pennsylvania's crew would run out of air after just seven days. So where do they get their air from? The answer? The very thing they're traveling in. Seawater. By passing electricity through the water, it's possible to split the substance into its component parts, hydrogen and oxygen. Chemist Andrew Shidlow will demonstrate how this works. So we have this apparatus set up here. The positive electrode here is giving off oxygen and the negative electrode here is giving off hydrogen. What I'm going to show you now is that we can collect the oxygen and then reignite a glowing splint with it, thus proving that that's the gas. So I'm going to now turn our tap very carefully here. We now have a tube full of oxygen. Uh, we're now going to do the classic test for oxygen gas, which is to see whether it relights a glowing split. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. A new world record. Six. Absolutely brilliant. So there we are. Oxygen from water by electrolysis. Electrolysis is also used on the Pennsylvania to make oxygen from seawater but on a much bigger scale. Here we have the oxygen generator. Her nickname is Paris, after the Hilton sisters. Number one, she's actually Nikki, because we think Nikki's better. No offense. Nikki produces over 4,000 liters of oxygen every hour. 
The oxygen is used to replenish stale air, which is then circulated around the vessel. Pure, clean air, thanks to the Hilton sisters. We need to breathe. And if she doesn't make oxygen for us, then we can't breathe. So we like to tend to her, keep her happy. Over two centuries ago, the turtle's operator could stay submerged for just 25 minutes. On the Pennsylvania today, the supply of air is limitless. When people first built submarines, they didn't really know how to control them, so they looked to nature for inspiration. 